Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we turn to talking about the new Toy Story 4 movie coming out later this week. Recently the cast has been going around doing interviews and there's one actor who's gotten into a bit of hot water again lately. Shouldn't be surprised that it's Tim Allen though, since not only is he the second main character in the franchise, but also Allen is known to be one of the few public conservatives in Hollywood in current year. That's right. And this fact has certainly got him into trouble before too, such as the time ABC canceled his show Last Man Standing. Despite it being incredibly popular and still doing extremely well ratings and money making wise. Regardless, ABC refused to renew the show anyway, most likely because Tim is not only conservative leaning, but also his show features the same kind of perspective, even taking time to goof on and mock liberals every so often. I'm sure that didn't fly with the completely corrupt and liberal biased ABC. Luckily for the show though, Fox picked them up after their cancellation, and they're still running and doing well there, proving that the initial cancellation by ABC wasn't based on the ratings or money making. No, Tim Allen and other conservatives in entertainment, they get attacked just for having different political views. Much like what's happened again this week. On the press tour for Toy Story 4, a recent interview Tim Allen gave sparked a controversy, according to liberals and social justice warriors that is. You know, the people who want to attack and go after us any way they can. For more details on the recent claims that Tim Allen is a racist now for some reason, let's turn to an article from AOL.com called Awkward Tim Allen Interview Reignites Accusations of Racism. Check this bullshit out. The Toy Story 4 publicity tour may have hit a speed bump, and it's all kicked off thanks to an interview about a card game. The film stars Tom Hanks and Tim Allen sat down for a press junket interview with Global Grimed Entertainment reporter Zilla Valentine. Inspired by Hanks' participation in a popular Black Jeopardy skit for Saturday Night Live, Valentine challenged the actors to prove their black cards by answering a question about the card game's spades. While Hanks passed with flying colors with his references to seeing guys play whist in Oakland, California, Tom Hanks is always had an invite to the cookout, raved a commenter. Alan admitted he wasn't familiar with spades and joked about feeling left out of the conversation. And well, that's about all it took to piss off the anti-conservative social justice warriors here. The people who call everyone racist all the time. That's right. And we're going to get to the video of this too soon. But first, let's recognize things. All it took was Tim Allen not knowing how to play spades to trigger them here. Spades, a pretty niche card game if we're being honest. We're not talking about poker or blackjack here or solitaire or the game that's named after this show's title, Bullshit. Or what about Go Fish? All kids learn that, I think, but spades? Not so much. At least not according to me and the many people I've known over the years. But upon doing some further research here, it does appear to be a pretty popular game in African American communities. They love spades for some reason. So with that in mind, I think we can see where this is going here. Tim Allen doesn't recognize an obscure game that many black Americans love. So ipso facto, according to the SJWs, he's a racist now. Which makes no sense at all. Pretty ridiculous, but that is the implication here. And it's absolutely completely completely insane. And when you see this video next, you'll see even more about how simple and harmless this whole interview actually was. Check these clips out. So I want to play a little game. This if you have a black card, because I feel like okay. you guys both have black cards. Okay. You're playing spades. You got four in the possible. Your partner says he got four in the possible. The guys you've been playing with, they've been talking crap the whole game. What do you do? Do you bid nine or do you bid ten, go wills and go all out for it? Ten. Ten? Go all out. I've been working Vegas 30 years. I don't gamble. Okay, wow. Just wow. That had to be one of the most confusing and convoluted interview questions I've ever seen. The game doesn't even completely matter here either. This guy could be presenting some elaborate scenario for poker, bingo, foursquare, or dominoes even. But whatever he was doing, it was not working. So you can't blame the actors for being a little caught off guard here. These guys are running through interviews like this all day long. And then all of a sudden, some guy who legitimately calls himself Zilla Valentine, stupid name by the way, and well, this guy presents some sort of elaborate and overly complicated setup for a game most people have never heard of. And then somehow Tim Allen gets blamed for this in the end? Please, that's just a cover-up attack because this interviewer was being awful. You should never be putting this much pressure and this much complicated thought into approaching two actors from a movie that's featuring talking toys. And these are two very likable, amazing, and legendary performers here too, make no mistake. They also happen to be old white guys, sure, but there's nothing wrong with that. What's really wrong here is Zilla Valentine and his awkward line of questioning. <laughs> Necessarily money involved in spades. No, 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 it's just crazy. I don't just play. I, I, I throw deep, baby. Okay. I go yeah. deep. I don't know what That's you guys what you are talking about. Card. I don't know. have any <laughs> idea what you guys just said. You don't know how to play spades? I'm going to say I do just because I want to move now, on. Now, when I was in Oakland, California, they all played whist. Mm. It's like you see the. And then it was a. Twist. 
Poom, pam. Should poom, I get a cup of coffee poom, or something? Poom. <laughs> Kids were playing whist, man. Okay, to make this matter a little more uncomfortable, Tom Hanks appears to be playing into this heart, pandering towards the interviewer and minorities. Can't really blame Tom, though. They're trying to get through this interview and move on with their lives here. But for that interviewer, for Zilla Valentine, awkward name, still, well, this is pretty much the biggest moment of his career. Pretty sad when you think of it like I do, as an embarrassing display of someone's lacking in interview, rapport, and social skills. But regardless, Zilla here is certainly getting his 15 minutes of fame out of this. But now, enough of the video and let's get back to the original article to get more of this SJW outrage into perspective. But Alan, whose political views have made him something of a blue collar, conservative hero, though he's clarified that he didn't vote for Donald Trump, is being criticized for his demeanor in the clip, which many claim has racial implications. This is followed by a tweet from Zilla Valentin, where he directly claims that he was testing Tim Allen's knowledge of black culture. Good to know. At least this part admits that knowing about spades is akin to knowing about black culture. I'm glad they're not still pretending that spades is some sort of super common, globally played and celebrated thing, because it's not. Although some on the left seem to be pretending that, in an effort to slam Tim Allen for being conservative and right-wing. Next, we got some tweets attacking Allen. One's from at KeelTYC saying, I feel like Tim Allen knew, but he didn't want to hurt his appeal with his fan base. And next, a tweet from Big Sis says, Somebody fix Tom a plate and tell Tim Allen to get off my property. Which is ironic because I thought minorities weren't allowed to own property. Regardless, all jokes aside, these attacks on Tim are pretty weak here. Truth be told, we all know they don't like the guy already for being on our conservative side. Which really shows the tight-knit groupthink mentality going on in the media in Hollywood amongst liberals. If you pander to their side and the minorities like how Tom Hanks does, you'll get their love and affection completely, regardless of what you do. But dare to think freely and refuse to conform to all their SJW rules and PC culture and well, you'll be shamed and slandered for nothing like how Tim Allen has. And they'll go after you every chance the media gets. Finally, before we wrap things up, let's get to one more story about someone actually defending Tim Allen, as they should. Another comedian who happens to be black, Bill Bellamy, he stepped up for our boy Tim in an article called Bill Bellamy Defends Tim Allen Against Racist Claims Exclusive. Check this one out. Oh, come on, man. You can't do that to Tim Allen, Bellamy said while out in Los Angeles on Wednesday. He's like comedy legend Royalty Hall of Fame. I mean, if he ain't know what spades was, that's all right. A lot of people don't know dominoes or dice. According to Bellamy, the white person equivalent of spades is beer pong. If you ask me if I know anything about beer pong, I might be a little lost, he said. It's actually a dope-ass game, but if you don't drink beer, you're not going to get into beer pong. And if you don't go to a local bar, it's going to skip you. Good points all around, Bill. But let's start off by reinforcing Tim Allen's legendary status in comedy, TV, and film. Because I agree with that. Tim is a modern titan in the industry, if you ask me. He's done legendary stand-up specials, multiple successful sitcoms, and a slew of classic movies as well. His shows, for example, include the aforementioned Last Man Standing that's still running to this day, now in its seventh season. Before that, though, Tim also starred in the world-famous groundbreaking TV show called Home Improvement on ABC, which aired throughout almost all of the 90s. Then, when it comes to movies, we of course have the Toy Story franchise, which again has its fourth feature coming out this week. And if you hadn't heard, Tim Allen is a main character in there, playing the now famous Buzz Lightyear character. And then another noteworthy franchise he was in was the Santa Claus film trilogy, a personal favorite of mine and many. And that's from the 90s too. And other well-received films of Tim Allen's include Jungle to Jungle, the cult classic Galaxy Quest, and also Christmas with the Cranks and Wild Hogs, just to name a few. So needless to say, Bill Bellamy was completely right. Tim Allen is a walking, talking comedy legend who deserves way more respect than all of this. But of course, the media and left wingers won't give it to the man because he's on the wrong side of the political aisle, according to them. He continued, I'm the type of dude I just walk into a local bar and some cool white guys were playing beer pong and I was like, what the hell is that? And the next thing you know, I'm boink boink. It's fun as hell. The drama kicked off on Tuesday during a Toy Story 4 junket when journalist Zilla Valentin, journalist, verified Tom Hanks and Allen's black card, a dumb premise by the way, status by testing their knowledge of spades. Hanks passed with flying colors. Allen didn't. Really reminds me again of how ridiculous this racist claim against Tim Allen is. All he did was not know how to play an obscure card game from the black community. But because it's popular in black communities, they somehow twisted this lack of knowledge as a way to slam Tim Allen for supposedly not liking black people or some shit. They want to say he's a racist, but it's completely off. And this is equivalent to slamming someone for hating white people if they don't know how to play beer pong, as Bill Bellamy went over before. But when podcaster Crystals retweeted the clip with the caption, Tim Allen is openly racist now and I love seeing him squirm here, Twitter kicked into overdrive, dragging up examples of the famously conservative actor being accused of racism in the past, such as his 2013 argument that he should be allowed to use the N-word during his stand-up, which he should, of course. No word should be illegal. Tim Allen quickly became the top trending topic, to a point that Crystals was forced to clarify that
that she wasn't calling Alan racist for not knowing how to play spades, even though she kind of was. Merely that she felt he already was one, and the video just made for enjoyable watching because of that. Normally I try not to call you all stupid, but the number of people here who think I'm calling Alan racist because of this video is truly alarming. She later tweeted, America really got to work on teaching reading comprehension, says someone who could barely write. Never again want to be responsible for anything trending, she added. The maggots have infested my mentions. Well, I say you got what was coming to you, lady. You clearly called Tim Allen racist because of this video, which you quoted. All because he doesn't know how to play some silly spades game. Then this ridiculous person named Crystals, well, they backtracked after that and tried to blame their errors on everyone else, as all good SJWs do. All because they couldn't take the heat after lying and slandering a conservative like Tim Allen publicly. And well, yeah, if you do that kind of shit, Tim Allen and his fans and supporters, like myself, we then have a right to respond and tell you why you're wrong. Alan isn't an open racist, obviously. None of us are. You just don't like us because we're conservatives, clearly. And then when people put you on blast for lying about Tim Allen or others, you cower in fear and blame it all on us. Pathetic. I'm not surprised someone who goes by the name Crystals acts like this, though. And I'm also not surprised that that original interviewer named Zilla Valentine started this whole controversy with a dumb, obscured, overly complicated question about spades. Dude, you were at a movie press tour. Ask them about acting or the plot of the film, dude. Come on. How did these kinds of hacks like Zilla even get into these press interviews in the first place? Tim Allen has a right to be a little annoyed after all that bullcrap, I say. And make no mistake, that is the worst you could say about Tim Allen here. Perhaps he was a little annoyed by this convoluted, unrelated question. But that's it. He certainly wasn't being racist or offensive, and in my opinion, that's the end of this toy story. What do you guys think? Is Tim Allen racist for not knowing how to play spades? Do you know how to play spades? And why did Zilla ask such a dumb question when he had a chance to talk to two greats like Tom Hanks and Tim Allen? Comment your thoughts on everything below, and thanks for watching. No bullshit. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time.